You know my twin's gonna deliver a classic. What's up guys, it's Kairos, and there's basically five steps you need to follow at the very beginning of the FitPig journey. But before we get into that, in case anyone's curious, my hat is CPFM, my t-shirt's from Warehouse & Co., my belt's Prada, my pants and Demula Meester, and these are the Jown 992s. Okay, so step one, it's always a great idea to have an inspo album. Saving images you see on Instagram, TikTok, or Pinterest can be a great way to get those creative wheels turning. I personally have mine in my Photos app. It has all the flicks that I personally think were composed, edited, or styled really well. I'm not saying to start cloning or anything, but it's a cool way to get pose ideas since posing doesn't really come naturally to most of us. Plus, you can also get put on to an editing style that you really like. And edits are really important. They kind of give your photo personality. And so how you want to edit your photo kind of depends on what type of aura or personality you personally have. Are you cool? Are you warm? Are you energetic or are you more laid back? Style inspo is also huge. Fashion, especially male fashion, is really, really niche. And if you don't wanna spend hours deep scrolling the internet, trying to find the craziest undiscovered garments, you can always just find someone who you think has a really nice style and you can kind of learn from them. But obviously, don't clone entire outfits. We always gotta do our own thing. Fashion is a personal expression, so you wanna make sure to always be true to yourself. And by having fit pics that go hard to you in your inspo album, you could get put onto pieces or new ways to style things that you never really knew before. Step two, assembly. Build an outfit that you think is fire. And if it's really fire, you'll know when you look in that mirror, all fitted up and you're like, yeah. I really have it on today. And by using that inspo album that we talked about in the first step, this part is so much easier. Having a clear image in your head really speeds up the process. So I went with these Bottega Veneta work pants. And by the way, if you wanna see my entire pants collection, there's a full video on my channel. And I paired that with this vintage oversized Nautica shirt. The grid pattern is an essential to have in your wardrobe. And this jacket is the KK Jacket 03 in Shadow Gray by Kiko Kostadinov, one of my favorite designers, by the way. The hat is a Detroit Tigers fitted. It's inspired by the old school hip hop I've been listening to lately. The bag is the Balenciaga Kitten Puppy Shopper. <laughs> This is go so stupid. And the shoes are the Bottega Veneta quilted loafers. Tell me, have you seen a bad fit in these? They're literally the unbreakables. Step three, location, location, location. Location matters, guys. It can really elevate the quality of your picture. And going back to step one, if you have that inspo album, you can kind of look through the backgrounds that the fits that you like are using. Cloning would be hard here because you'd have to physically be exactly where the photo was taken. And if you're cloning that hard that you're literally taking your fit pics, dressed the same and in the same location as someone else, I ain't even got words for that, bro. <laughs> if you have more of a streetwear style, you can go for some urban scapes, cities, concrete, or the goaded fallback option, the museum. And if you're locked in with that gorb lifestyle, you can try to find some trails, some bodies of water, maybe even an open field but a blank concrete wall works well with literally every type of fashion. The color of the environment can also be another way for you to elevate the quality of your fit pick. If you have a darker style, if you have opium style, nighttime photos could be a great way to emphasize the moodiness of your outfit. But for this fit though, since I would categorize this as a bit technical menswear, I'm gonna go with some concrete. Concrete just you can't go wrong with a concrete background. It's tried and it's true. It just can't be brick. Step four, pose. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. This part is one of the hardest parts just because it's awkward and getting used to it, you definitely gotta settle in. A lot of times we like to default to the arms crossed pose or maybe you're like me and you'd have literally no idea what to do with your hands. But this is when that goaded inspo album from step one comes clutch again. 
So in your inspo album, you should probably have a variety of photos from different creators and you can just reference their poses and maybe you can come up with something new yourself. Obviously cloning a pose is gonna be insane work. Like there's not that many to be honest, unless it's like something super creative. But then I don't really see a problem with that personally. And bonus, taking fit pics with your bros is just fun. But if your bros are unavailable, you can always just get a tripod. <laughs> it does the same thing. No shame, no shame in the tripod method. Step five, edits. Edits are kind of optional, but are you trying to go for the max win or nah? <laughs> I personally add a little bit of grain to my photos and run them through a film sim. I don't go too crazy with the edits, but I do try to consistently keep my photos on the warmer side. But yeah, using the inspo album, you can also find your own type of thing that works well for you because what works for me may not necessarily be your vibe. So it's always a great idea to just keep experimenting and find what works best for you. We also have great resources like YouTube. YouTube is a great place if you wanna learn and dial in your edits. And I personally don't use TikTok, but I'm sure there's some editors on there that are probably dropping some sauce. Bonus step, step six. That was seven. Step six. And this is also low key like the hardest part about taking fit pics, bro. The captions. Every time I'm on the captions part on Instagram, I'm fighting demons trying not to quote whatever song is stuck in my head that day. You could also try the emoji method. It's tried and true. Or if you just have nothing to say, you could just leave your caption blank. You know, that's that nonchalant vibe, eh? I tend to reference the photo a little bit. So if I'm somewhere really specific or somewhere well known, I'll make a quick joke or reference, you know? For this fit pick, I don't really know what my caption is gonna be yet, but I'll try hard not to troll. Well, that's how you flick up. I'm trying to get my tuition reimbursed.